Hey everyone, it's Dave. So I've been doing some work on the car this week and I've got kind of three things I need to discuss. Um, one I might do a separate video for actually because I need to go out with the car and it's raining and it's dark and I can't do that now. But there's a couple of things I'm going to just go over that I think I need to change because uh, I think I've made a few cock-ups. And really it's just thanks to you guys for feeding back to me to be honest because without the feedback I've had um, and, and knowledge that you guys have got about some electronics and bits and pieces that I'm, I'm making mistakes on I think I've averted at least a, a fire <laughs> with my BMS system and thanks to Peter I'm, I'm sorry Peter I don't actually know your surname but thank you very much for all the advice you've given me and uh, it's made me re-look at what I've done and I'm gonna have to redo it and that's kind of what this video is about where, where I'm at with that but I mean, I'm, I'm staggered with the number of people that are contacting me. and I'm, I'm trying to help everybody as much as I can. Um, I've got a few names of people here. I've got, I mean, Peter, thank you. Gary, uh, EFM Auto uh, Clutch in, in the States, uh, doing some amazing stuff with Wankel Rotors, 800 horsepower, I think you said. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Uh, the Greater London EV guys, you guys are just pumping out some brilliant stuff. And uh, thanks for adding me to your WhatsApp. It's really interesting seeing you getting the, uh, the cars moving and uh, hope to see those, those progress as you get further down the line. Um, Sean, Richard, Jared, Giles, Andrew, um, I mean, just all been brilliant. Um, and of course, everybody that comments on the YouTube videos as well. Uh, I do try and respond to everybody. It can be difficult because I know that then people respond to me and I might not see those responses. So... Apologies if you message me and I don't reply, but I do try as where I can. My email address is actually in my uh, profile, so you can email me if you need me directly. And I will try and help. It's not always possible. I can't always have I don't know everything, but I, where possible I will try and help uh, anybody who, who gets in touch. So what's this video then? What, what's happened with the BMS? So if I just come down here, if you've been watching my other videos, you'll know that I've been doing this. This is my new BMS wiring, da, 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 and it's all Cat5 cabled, so that it can live at the front of the car, and I've rejigged it all, for the BMS to live at the back, but the batteries to live at the front. Problem I've got is that the Cat5 cabling is not rated high enough, and this is where I've made a mistake. I've really made a mistake. I figured all the BMS wiring would be low voltage, four volts, because it's only registering the potential of one of these cells at any time. So the BMS system is just measuring the, the potential difference between these to get your, your low voltages. But the, the thing that Peter's pointed out to me is that once all the buzz bars are on, which obviously they're not on currently, I've just got one here, once this is all connected up, the potential difference between the very first cell and the very last cell on these batteries here is going to be about 200 volts. Now, I've then got my Cat5 cabling coming here, and the cabling splits to go left and right. So even though the potential difference at the BMS end is only going to be 4 volts, I'm going to have wires going through here that are touching, but the potential difference between those two wires is going to be somewhere near 200 volts. Now, the Cat5 cabling, these little wires, are only rated at 125 volts. So I run a serious risk with this setup that it probably won't just catch fire immediately, but what will happen is the wires are going to degrade and eventually any the, 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 the wire with the weakest link, so any kink or anything in the wire, any bit of damage, or even if they get damaged while they're in the car, it's going to short circuit and it'll vaporise one of these wires almost immediately um, and probably catch fire. It'll probably vaporise, catch fire, which will set off a chain reaction with all the other wires, then shorting out, catching fire, and before you know it, you've got a little Cat5 fire going on in the underneath of the car. Now that could happen even with um, the car not on. I mean, you don't have to have the car on for this. There's still going to be a 200 volt potential difference between these wires, even with all the relays off, with the relays off over there, even they're all off, you still have the potential difference. So this could just be sat on the driveway, and then spontaneously just catch fire when the when the coating here degrades enough that um, it allows an arc across and with the potential difference being that well that overrated for what this 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 insulation is it will happen so I don't think I can use this and this has been an absolute ball ache to do I'll be honest with you um, but I need to redo it I need to redo the whole lot it's all been tested it all works but I need to buy stronger cable um, when I say stronger better insulated so this is the wire from the uh, leaf and that's about 1.3 mil thick and I got the wire from the cat 5 is only about 0.8 of a mil thick so 
because obviously just it's just not there's a reason why this this wire is the thickness it is and um i gotta redo it so bit of a bit of a cock up but thanks peter for kind of pointing it out to me and then me looking a bit deeper and going shit yeah you're right um you've saved me quite a lot of effort there so that's number one thing uh, i've come back up here you can see me I'll keep looking at batteries so the second thing is I have a terrible habit of measuring things to be perfect. And I measured the motor in the car and I needed my adapter plate to be about 40 mil thicker and that's gonna push it and give it clearance. And that's been beautiful, it's gone in the car fine. Uh, the inverter needs to slot on the top, but I didn't give it enough clearance to get the inverter to slot on. I can't get the angles right because the firewall's in the way, which is really frustrating because I've got another 10 uh, 10 centimeters, 100 mil behind the motor. I could have come out another 50 mil and give myself all the clearance in the world. So last thing I was doing a couple of days ago was chopping off a couple of parts of the inverter that aren't needed. They're the bits that hold the um, uh, the charger on top. But the charger is going to go to the boot, so I can lose some brackets on it to hopefully give me clearance. But it's going to be very, very close to the brake lines. Until I've finished doing that, I don't know how close. Um, and it may be, it may be that I'm going to have to redo all, all that work as well. Oh God, it, may, it pains me to be honest. But I, you know, you can't, you can't with the BMS here. You can't have fire. That's just a, a big non-starter. With the motor and the inverter, I can't have it touching the brake lines. Again, it's just, it's just a, a very obvious thing you can't be messing around with. You have to get these things right. And if it means I have to go back and set myself back a few weeks, a month or whatever it is, then you know, let's do it right. Let's do it right and get it right for the for the second version. But that's part of this process, I guess. You know, we're all out there and the more people I find, you know, I, I've, I've said to a few of the guys, I've made a few mistakes here and they're like, yeah, join the gang. Um, so it's nice to get that comforting as well. So thanks for the people who have already consoled me <laughs> when I've realized uh, what's going on. I'll make another video when the sun's out, uh, if the sun ever comes out, uh, about my engine mounts because there's a lot of people concerned about those, but I think they're okay. I, I do think they're okay. Um, they just don't look very good, but I think once I explain where I'm at with them, they should, I, think, I think they're okay. But I need people with better engineering backgrounds, I guess, to tell me where my logic is wrong with those. So anyway, thanks again for listening. I'm going to start buying the cabling and <laughs> redoing this, which makes me want to cry. And, um, and I'll update you with the engine mounts in a couple of days.